In my previous video, I talked about how I build audience list in Google Analytics, which will be used for retargeting campaign in Google's ad platform. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the audience list to build my campaign to target people who left at a particular point of a shopping. So I'm going to show you how I do this from A to Z and at the end of everything, you will be able to do this for yourself. So right now I'm in my Google Analytics account and I click on the admin panel and I want to see the audience I have on my list. So I want to show you the exact audience I'm going to use in the campaign. So I click on my audience definitions, then I select the audiences. So I have some audiences already on the list, but the one I want to use for the sake of this video is the people who abandoned the checkout. So this is the checkout abandoned audience. I want to use this particular audience in my Google remarketing ads and I want my advert to be shown to these people who left at the point of completing the checkout. So I'm going to go straight to my Google ads account and right now I'm in the Google ads account and at the moment I have only one campaign active. I'm going to go ahead and create a new campaign for this particular purpose and the campaign I'm going to create will be a display campaign. So I click on the plus sign that I select new campaign. On this dashboard, I have option of choosing a goal for my campaign. And what's the goal for this campaign? Since this is an e-commerce business, the goal for this campaign is to drive sales. So I'm going to select sales as my goal. And now I have the option of choosing which network I want my adverts to be shown. For this particular campaign, I want my advert to be shown to people who left at a particular point of shopping. Then I'm not going to target people on search. By the way, I can still use this audience list to target people on search network. But for the sake of this video, I want to target people on display network. I want this advert to be shown to people when they are using mobile app, when they are surfing on YouTube, when they are browsing on blogs and wherever they are on the internet. So I'm going to select display network. Now I have option of choosing between Gmail campaign, smart display campaign and the standard display campaign. I'm going to stick with standard display campaign because I want to be able to do everything myself. So I click on the standard display campaign, then I go ahead and click continue. By the way, if I want to put URL address here, it's fine. However, if I don't put it there, I can still continue with the settings. So I'm going to continue with the settings for this particular campaign. Right now, I'm in the next page and in the next page, I have to give the campaign a name. For this one, I'm going to call it dynamic retargeting now why do i call this one dynamic retargeting i'm calling it dynamic retargeting because i want individual users to see the exact product they clicked on the first time they find my product on google now i already have my audience list and i have people who visited the website in the audience I want to target ads to these people based on what they say in the first time they went to the site or based on the product they wanted to purchase. So that is why I name it dynamic retargeting. And to make this happen, I already uploaded my product on this particular platform. In some other videos, I will talk about how I upload my product feed on this particular account. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to select my target location. And the target location for this particular campaign is going to be US. However, I want to choose advanced options for this particular setting. I'm going to target people who live in the US, not people who just visit or who people who are showing interest in US. So I want people who are in this particular location. That is fine. I'm going to go ahead to the next setting. And the next setting here, we have the language. English is fine by me. And the bidding strategy here is conversion. I'm not going to stick with conversion. This is a new campaign. I want to use a separate bidding strategy. So which bidding strategy I want to select? I want to use the maximize click. For this campaign, I don't want to pay more than $0.4 per click. So I'm going to select maximum CPC as 0.4. By the way, this is optional. If you want to leave it as it's just go ahead and leave it and skip this particular setting. But for me, I want to limit my maximum CPC. So I don't want Google to go ahead and charge me maybe $1 for every click I get from this campaign. So $0.4 dollar is okay by me and i will proceed to the next setting so what is the budget now this is just a remarketing campaign and for the sake of this video i'm gonna make the budget just two dollars per day so i'm going to the next setting now if you click on this next setting you see some settings there you can go ahead and use 
the setting that is okay for you i'm not gonna use anything here by the way if i want to do any optimization data i can come here to start optimizing the campaign i'm done with the settings for the campaign the next thing now is for me to go with the ad group so let me name this ad group checkout abandoned so i've named the ad group and i'm gonna click on the next step now i have option of choosing the audience i want to use for this particular ad group so i have some options here but i'm not gonna select any option yet i'm gonna go ahead and click finish setting then i will start from there now i create my campaign and then it gives me a warning that this campaign doesn't have any ads but let me just go ahead and create a campaign we'll see what happens in the next section so i click on it and my campaign is successfully created so i want to continue to the campaign now on my dashboard previously i have just one campaign but now when you see you see i have two campaigns in my account the dynamic retargeting is already in my account so i'm gonna click on the dynamic retargeting and i want to see the ad group is also available so the next thing i want to do now is i want to create an ad for this particular ad group and the ad is gonna be a dynamic or responsive display ad so now i'm in the ad creation page and the first thing i want to do is i want to copy the url of the site on this particular page and i want to copy it to the ads dashboard so the url is there and the next thing is i want to select image and logo for this particular ad so i allow google to scan the website to see which image is best for me to use and as google scan it it will bring up all the available images i can use for this particular ad now i have some images there i'm gonna choose this for my ad so i choose this and i selected the continue then if there's any one i can use for logo i can go ahead and select it but there's no one i can use for logo i'm gonna see if i have any recently used image i think i have some there i'm gonna use this for my logo so that is fine by me so i'm okay with the cropping then i click save now i've selected images and logo the next thing i want to do is i want to add some text i'm not going to use any video for this particular ad if you have some videos you would like to use you can go ahead and add a video so i want to add some text and at this point i might not be saying anything i'm done with this description then i'm gonna go ahead and write a business name so if you want to choose more options you can go ahead and click more option and see which options are available for this particular ad i'm not going to choose any option that i'm going to save this directly and see what is happening now i click on save and the ads are ready i want to do the last thing for this particular setting so that we can use the audience that we put in google analytics to deliver this advert then what next do i have to do since we are already in the checkout abandoned ad group i'm gonna go straight to the audience menu and from the audience menu i will see the audience list i have in my audience manager and i can choose the right one i want to use for this particular ad group now on the audience list i have paid traffic but i'm gonna browse the audience i wanted to add to this particular ad group so i click on browse then i'll see i have three groups here similar audiences combined list and website visitors since the audience i want to use is part of my past website visitors i'm going to check the website visitors and see what i have there now i have a couple of audiences in this particular group and the one i want to use is the one i created recently which is checkout abandoned then i'm going to check this and i'm going to save it now i have successfully added my checkout abandoned users to this particular ad group Google said the list is too small to be delivered. I just want to use this audience to deliver my ad and as soon as the group is populated, my ad will start showing to these people and they will be able to go back to the website to complete their transaction. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some questions you would like to ask, feel free to ask me and I will definitely answer every single question. Thanks again for watching the video and watch out for the next video. Bye for now.